What we know is that after a pandemic, there's increased mental health needs. There's predicted to be 25% growth in ER visits, inpatient hospital stays, outpatient care as well too. So to address the increased needs for mental health and substance use disorder services after the pandemic, we have gone on a journey of, of creating an empath unit. We've hired seven new advanced practice providers and about 25 other staff to staff this, this new unit. We are implementing further telepsychiatry services and our goal really is to uh, cover our entire rural health system from Redwood Falls to Sauk Center to Long Prairie to Monticello. In recent years, here in the emergency room, we have seen approximately 4,000 patients with mental health concerns that are seen by our mental health nursing corps in the emergency room. That equates to approximately 12 patients per day. The empath unit allows us the opportunity to really expand the continuum of care that we're able to offer within the center care system for patients or individuals who come to us with mental health needs. Currently, we have an outpatient a setting and we have an inpatient setting and then we have a few different things in the community that exist to complement or to serve the patients in that middle area. Empath really provides that opportunity to care for individuals who don't need an extended inpatient stay but who certainly need some more support than they're able to have in the outpatient setting. This is a space where patients will come and receive treatment and care over the course of hours up to approximately 24 hours. And during that time, the idea is a totality of treatment so that patients are seeing psychiatric providers for consideration for medication management, psychotherapists for psychotherapy, as well as other mental health experts, including mental health nursing and our behavioral health technicians. The idea is also to have uh, all-encompassing treatment. So when a patient arrives on the unit, we begin our treatment immediately and we continue all the way through the time that the patient discharges from the unit. With Empath, we do believe that patients will have less of a need or less of a, a, a sense that they need to return to the emergency room. With the current design of the empath space, we have elected to focus on the adult population uh, of ages 18 and over. We have a limited space uh, at this time, uh, and we wanted to make sure that we weren't dragging our feet in terms of being able to help uh, a population. And so this is where we started, certainly not where we're ending. So our, our ultimate goal is to increase access to quality care for our community. Uh, without, without philanthropy, without our community partners, we would uh, be unlikely to develop many of these new programs. So some of our future needs that can be very well supported by philanthropy would include uh, services that we provide that are not reimbursable. For example, peer support uh, staff, both our empath unit and other programs. Uh, we would like to also um, open up a first episode psychosis program. Very important uh, in the treatment of schizophrenia to have programs like that. Uh, expansion of our suicide prevention program. We have an increased growing need for inpatient beds and we are in the process of looking at a uh, new space for our inpatient child and adolescent unit and we'll need funds to do that as well too. And without philanthropy, uh, we would not be able to implement many of these new programs. So please join me today in supporting these programs for our future 